Start by putting your water softener on bypass so that we don't damage the resin inside. Look on the back of your softener or refer to the owner's manual for instructions on how to do this. Turn the water off to your washing machine as well as any other appliances that might get damaged by the chlorine, such as fridges or ice makers. Next, we're going to remove any water filters that may interfere with the chlorinating process. Go ahead and close the water leading to the filters. Leave the water valve open on the other side and then go open a tap in your house somewhere to release the water pressure. Set up a couple towels to catch any water that spills out. If your filters have a pressure release valve, go ahead and let the pressure out. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the filters. Although I didn't do it in this video, I do recommend that you close this valve here just to be safe and make sure the water doesn't flow back down into the filter housing. Make sure you inspect the O-rings or any gaskets that they're sitting properly so they don't leak when you put it all back together. Dry everything up so you can easily tell if you have a leak, then go ahead and open the valve slowly to let the water flow through again. Go back to your taps and let the air out of the lines slowly. Now we're going to go and remove the lid from our weld casing. Turn your hose on and let the water run into the well. Then add your chlorine solution. You're going to continue to let the water run until you can smell the chlorine coming out of the hose. Once that happens, I use the hose to rinse off the inside of the well casing and the well cap. Now you can go ahead and close it all up. Now we're going to go around the house and run all the taps until we can smell chlorine in the water. Don't use your water and let the chlorine sit in your pipes for the next 12 to 24 hours. After sufficient time has passed, go ahead and drain the chlorinated water from your system. Be careful where you drain the water. Don't empty it into your septic tank or any gardens. Let it run for 30 minutes or more, depending on the size of your system. Next, we can go reinstall some new filters using the same process we did to remove the old ones. Go ahead and take your water softener off bypass and reconnect your appliances. Often when cleaning your well, you will loosen up some rust flakes or dirt. It can be a good idea to go around and check the screens on taps or appliances to make sure they are clear of debris and flowing well. If you installed new filters, you may notice air in the water, it will pass. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I got more awesome content coming your way.